Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss insertion short algorithm analysis. Already, we have discussed what is insertion short, how to implement insertion short with an example, and also we have discussed the logic of insertion short algorithm. Next, we will discuss insertion short algorithm analysis. The best case efficiency, if you are considering in the sense, the items in the list are partially or nearly shorted. That is, the given array is almost shorted in the sense that will give the best case efficiency because it will give minimum number of comparison. That is, the basic operation A of J greater than B is executed smallest number of times. That is, minimum number of times. Okay, so the best case efficiency, if you are considering in the sense, C best of N is equal to summation I equal to 1 to N minus 1. And this basic operation will execute only one time. So, we will get the time efficiency n minus 1. That is approximately equal to the best case efficiency is defined by omega. And the time complexity is n. Okay. So, here a of j greater than b is executed only once on every iteration of the outer loop. When the outer loop is true in the sense the inner loop will execute only one time. That gives the best case efficiency. Next, the worst case efficiency if you are considering in the sense, the given element in the list are arranged in descending order. So, descending order in the sense, almost for every comparison, we need to exchange the element. Okay. So, the basic operation will execute largest number of times. That is the maximum number of times this basic operation will execute. So, here this is the algorithm. This is the outer for loop. When this outer for loop condition is true in the sense, the inner for loop will execute and this inner for loop will execute the maximum number of times. That will give the worst case efficiency. So, C worst of N is equal to the outer for loop condition is summation i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. That is the for loop condition. And the inner for loop condition if you are considering in the sense that is j equal to 0 to i minus 1. And this comparison will execute one time. So, here if you are substituting for this inner for loop in the sense, here we will get i minus 1. That is the upper bound value minus lower bound value plus how many times the basic operation executes. So, here we will get i is equal to 1 to n minus 1, i times we will get it. And if you are substituting i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 for i in the sense, we will get it as 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 2 plus n minus 1 time. Okay. And then for this, we will consider it as n into n minus 1 by 2 and this is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2. So, for this we will get it as n square by 2 minus n by 2. Okay. So, c worst of n approximately we will get it as n square that is nothing but o into g of n. So, this is the worst case time complexity for insertion short algorithm. Okay. In worst case analysis, if you are considering in this sense, the basic operation will execute largest number of times. So, this is the worst case efficiency. And here, if you are considering the average case efficiency in the sense, the number of comparisons lies in between the best case efficiency and worst case efficiency. So, it is based on the investigation of number of element pass out of order. Okay. Not like worst case efficiency, every comparison requires a exchange. Not like that. But it depends upon the number of element pairs out of order. So, it makes on average half as many comparison as on decreasing array. That is the worst case efficiency, the basic operation executes maximum 10 times in the sense. For the average case efficiency, it executes 5 times. Okay, that is nothing but the average case efficiency. So, here average case efficiency if you are considering in the sense f of n is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 i plus 1 by 2. Okay. So, this we can able to substitute like 1 by 2 into summation i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 i plus 1. This 1 by 2 we have taken it as out. Okay. 
So now this equation we can separate like 1 by 2 summation i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 i plus 1 by 2 summation i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 one time. Okay. And this we can able to solve it as 1 by 2 into 1 plus 2 up to this for this i we are substituting the value i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So we will get it as n minus 1 plus so for this one we can able to substitute like i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. So that is 1 by 2 directly we can able to substitute like upper bound n minus 1 minus lower bound is 1 plus how many times the basic operation executes. So, we will get it as 1 by 2 n minus 1. Okay. So, here we will get it as this is 1 by 2 into n into n minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, for this, this is n into n minus 1 by 2 plus this one n minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, here we can able to solve it as this one n squared by 4 minus n by 4. n squared by 4 minus n by 4. And for this one it is n by 2 minus 1 by 2. So plus n by 2 minus 1 by 2. Okay. And this we can able to reduce as n squared by 4 minus n by 2 minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, here if you are neglecting the lower orders in the sense the time complexity we will get it as f of n is approximately equal to theta is the average case efficiency theta into n square we will get it. This is the higher order. Okay. So, we will neglect the lower orders in the sense. So, we will get the time complexity as theta into n square. So, the best case efficiency if you are considering in the sense it is omega into n. This is the best case efficiency. And worst case efficiency if you are considering in the sense that is O into G of n. Okay. And average case efficiency is theta into n square. So, this is nothing but the time complexity for insertion short algorithm. This is the best case efficiency, worst case and average case efficiency. Okay. So, this is all about insertion chart algorithm. So, in this session we have completed the insertion chart technique. Next we will move on to the topic graph traversal. Thank you for watching this video.